Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the 2019 Ram 1500 and newer. Uh, we're gonna show you guys an exciting new upgrade we carry here at infotainment.com. These are power folding tow mirrors. Now, a lot of you guys would love to have tow mirrors on your truck, but as you know, they do stick out kind of far. But even though they do that, they give you great visibility when towing something. So we have a kit here 100% factory, 100% plug and play to give you power folding tow mirrors. So they do come in two different colors. We have a textured black and we have a chrome. Um, the ones that are back here, they kind of show you in the upright position. They do fold back and forth, uh, kind of like here and here. But this is an awesome upgrade. Uh, really makes towing really, really easy. Now, those of you who already have power folding smaller mirrors, all you have to do is replace your mirrors and you're good to go. Those of you who don't have power folding mirrors, we can give you the entire kit. So either way, we can help you. Uh, if you don't have power folding mirrors currently, uh, you'll need two door modules, one in each front door, a driver door switch, and then we can provide you with a plug and play programmer for your body control module from obdgenie.com. So today we're gonna show you guys start to finish how to upgrade to power folding tow mirrors for your 2019 and newer Ram 1500 truck. All right, so on this 2019 Ram, we're gonna be changing out these power folding mirrors uh, with some power folding tow mirrors. And uh, to do that, we gotta pull the door panel and uh, pull this little um, plastic bezel off a little bit here. Uh, then we can access the bolts or the, uh, the little nuts holding on the mirror. Um, for this truck, because it has factory power folding mirrors, we don't have to change anything else except for the mirrors. So getting started, we have um, two locations that we have some uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, one location is right behind this or right below this handle here. So on both uh, little panels, there's a notch that you can fit a flathead in. So right in the center, just kind of pop that one off. And for the one inside the door, sometimes it can be a little bit more stubborn. Um, usually how this center section is all white right there, usually people will try to wrench on it super hard and they'll start to bend up the plastic and turn it white. Uh, the easy way to do this one is pull it out and then just kind of work your way around and eventually the whole thing will pop right off. Once you have those panels off, it'll expose the three 10 millimeter um, bolts holding on your door panel. Now all you have to do is kind of stick your fingers in between the door and you can rip the uh, door panel free. And the entire door pulls straight out, just a bunch of clips uh, going on the perimeter, around the perimeter of your door. Now once your door panel is removed, uh, I like to undo the um, door switch and you can let it hang uh, gently off of your uh, cable. Just don't, you know, yank it around or start to beat it up or anything. And then from here, you can remove the uh, mirror cover piece here. Might help if you have a little panel tool undo some of these clips. And you don't have to remove the whole thing. Uh, as you see, um, access to these bolts just by pulling it up out of the way a little bit. From here, you're gonna see your wiring harness here and you're gonna need to unplug your mirror before you undo all of the all of the bolts. So just trace that harness all the way down and you'll see where it's plugged in on your door module. And you can unplug that. 
wiring harness is clipped into place you're going to need to remove all of those as well you can go around to all the little um, clips here that are holding this wire on and just pop all of those free you have four going um, down and around your door speaker here all right and you got one more behind this panel here and once all your wires are free now you can proceed to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts uh, and nuts um, what I like to do is remove all of them and the last one which is this top one up here that I'm going to remove I like to leave it on there but loose um, and this is because I'm working by myself I don't have somebody to hold that mirror uh, so just make sure to leave one loose but on there if you're working by yourself. I'll leave that on and loose. And as you can see, our whole mirror is free, but it's not gonna fall out because I have that one in there. And now I can walk around to the other side and pull the mirror out by myself. Now from on the outside here, you can reach around Take your 10 millimeter out and fish your wiring harness back up through the door. All right, now we can grab our new mirror. All right, so with your new mirror in hand, um, I can feel the weight. It's definitely heavier than the other one. <laughs> so with your uh, mirror, you kind of want to cradle it if you're by yourself. Uh, like a baby and uh, with your other hand you can fish the wires back through that door now with that same 10 millimeter that you removed uh, last to pull the other mirror out um, it's a good idea to have this on hand so you can slide the mirror back in and then support it before you walk around to the other side because you don't want to drop this mirror Line up the bolts. Put the holes in the door. There we go. And from the inside, let's go ahead and finger tight this uh, top bolt there. Now to hold in, uh, hold that mirror in the door in place, so you can go ahead and walk around and uh, tighten up the rest. down uh, following the same order that you remove this you can go ahead and pop all those clips back in back into place once your mirror harness is secured and your plugs are plugged in you can take your um, door trim here and press this back down over your mirror bolt cover all that stuff up Right, now we can clip our door back into place. Now, if any of these um, little snaps popped off and they're in your door, make sure you get those off with a panel tool, slide it back into your door um, because you won't be able to snap your door back in if any of those are remaining in, uh, into the door. So we'll plug our door switch back in. Slide our lock through the door panel. And once you have your door panel pretty much lined up, it should just snap back in. Once 
all your snaps are secure, you can put the three 10 mils in and uh, we'll jump over to the other side and do the same thing. All right, let's head over to the other side. All right, we'll do the same thing on this side. All 
All right, and that completes the install of your new mirrors. All right, guys, as you can see, this install was very easy. Um, again, if you have power folding mirrors, just the smaller ones, it's very easy to go to the toe mirrors now. Um, if you do not want the toe mirrors and you just want the standard six by nine um, mirrors, that is an option as well. But you do gain all those different convenient features and functionality out of going to the toe mirrors. So come check us out at infotainment.com. We have all this information and more for your Ram truck. Thanks for watching.